Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depending on your time zone this day, we bless the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Just as Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, said, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your promise this morning, Father God. As you have allowed us to come up to you, Lord, this morning to wait upon you. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you that even before we arrive here, oh God, you are there waiting for us. So, Father, Lord, we do pray that this day, Lord, that our strength will be renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that we receive the strength to match up with our wings, Lord, this morning, like eagles, oh Lord. That that, Father, Lord, the, the race that is before us this day will be able to run it and not be weary in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, that the path that we need to tread this day, Father, will be able to tread it and not get faint in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray that you will supply all that we need, oh, Lord, this day in the name of Jesus because you are our sufficiency. Oh, gracious Father, we worship you, we adore you, Father. We ask, oh, Lord, that every need or that we bring before you this morning father you will meet each need according to your glory in the name of jesus thank you eternal rock of ages in jesus name i pray amen amen this morning we're going to sing the immortal invisible god immortal invisible god so join me as we sing it this morning in the name of jesus let me share the screen with us Amen, amen, immortal, invisible, God only wise, our great God, our great Father in heaven. This morning we adore you, Lord God Almighty. Father, we bless your holy name because you are our sufficiency, Lord. You are the God Almighty God. Father, we thank you. Let us praise our God, our Father, this morning because the psalmist declare, Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations, all ye people. Praise him for his merciful kindness is great toward us and the truth of the Lord endure forever. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I praise your name this morning for bearing my burdens on daily basis. Gracious Father, Lord, we offer our praise to you, Lord, because you are our burden bearer, Lord. We thank you. Great Father of glory, we thank you, for you are the refiner. Lord, we thank you, our Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the greatness of your works, O Lord. We thank you, our Lord and our God, for you are the Son of Righteousness. O great Father of glory, we thank you. Yes, Lord, the angels adore thee. When we join them, O Lord, to adore you this morning, we thank you, for you are a great God and King over all gods. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for being our physician, our healer, our doctor, O Oh, gracious Father, we thank you. Great Father of glory, we thank you. Because on your hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to you. Oh, Father, Lord, Father of glory, we thank you this morning. Because on your hands are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to you. My Father, my Lord, I thank you, for you are my Messiah. Yes, Lord, you are my Messiah, my Savior. I thank you, Lord, for the marvelous things you have done in my life, in my, in my children's life, in my grandchildren, in my family. Lord, I thank you. Great Father of glory, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for redeeming our life from the pit and crowning us with compassion and love. Oh, God, this morning, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for redeeming my life from the pit and crowning me with compassion and love i give you praise this morning i thank you for being the strength of my soul immortal invisible yes lord you are invisible but i can see your hand everywhere oh lord i can see your work and thank you father for satisfying our desire with good things so that our strength is renewed like the
the eagles, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord, for this day, Lord, we know you're going to satisfy our desire with good things, and our strength will be renewed, because early, Lord, you've said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Yes, Father, we have come to wait upon you this morning, and our strength will be renewed in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you for being our cornerstone. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. You are praised for being the great high priest, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father of glory. We thank you. Let your name be holy, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for being the bishop of our soul. Oh, hallelujah to the Lord God Almighty. Lord, we thank you for you are the God of grace. Oh, gracious Father, we thank you. We have come, oh Lord, to obtain grace and mercy this morning. And we pray, oh Lord, that the heaven over our play of our heaven will be open this morning. In the name of Jesus, that you will pour your grace and mercy upon us this day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, eternal Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 38 verse 18 says, For I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. Because you know that immortal, invisible, holy, wise God, our God is holy. So this morning, let us go. Let us declare like the psalmist that, Lord, I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin in the name of Jesus. That is why, Lord, I come before you this morning and Lord God Almighty. And I, I acknowledge my fault and my failure before you, Lord, this morning. I, Lord, I acknowledge before you and I ask you to forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, of my sin, of my iniquity. Forgive me, Lord, God, that Lord, of concealing my, my real motives, Lord, in what I do. Forgive me, Lord, of my laziness, of my vanity, of my indulgence in sin. Whatever it is that you want the Lord to forgive you. He knows everything, but still, he wants us to com confess to him. So let us confess our weaknesses and in the name of Jesus this morning. The Lord is able to forgive us. Lord, forgive me of my evil thoughts. Forgive me, Lord God Almighty, of my lukewarmness. Forgive me, Lord, of my unsatisfactory usage of the talent you have given to me. Lord God Almighty, forgive me. Oh, Lord, forgive me for unprofitable avoidance of necessary duty. Lord, forgive me and of my jealousy of those whose lots are easier. Oh, Father, Lord, forgive me, Lord God Almighty. This morning, Father, Lord, I ask for forgiveness. Lord, I thank you, Father, because I know that in you I receive forgiveness. Blessed be to your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us to pray that Lord strengthen me mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, strengthen me mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I have come because they that wait upon you shall renew their strength. That is the word of God this morning for us. Lord, I have come this morning to wait upon you. Strengthen me mightily, Lord. Strengthen me mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Lord, increase me in the knowledge of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, increase me, increase my children, increase my grandchildren in the knowledge of God. Lord God Almighty, in this family, increase us, O Lord, in the knowledge of God. My husband, my wife, Lord, increase us, O Lord, as a family, in the knowledge of God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray. Father, Lord, let me be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. In the knowledge of Christ, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let me be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. In the knowledge of Christ, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for my children, for my grandchildren, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, every member of my household this morning, Lord. Let us be filled with the spirit of wisdom and understanding. In the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. 
pray, Father and Lord, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ. That is how we can get strength. Lord God Almighty, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my children's eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are the illuminator. Illuminate our heart, our mind this morning in the name of Jesus. Let our eyes of understanding be enlightened in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, Father Lord, let me be strengthened with might by your spirit in the inner man in the name of jesus christ father lord let me be strengthened with might by your spirit in the inner man in the name of jesus let my children my grandchildren my son-in-law my daughter-in-law every member of my household this morning lord let us be strengthened with might by our in spirit in our inner man in the name of jesus christ oh lord strengthen us oh lord we have come for strength oh Lord, a renewal of strength, O Lord God Almighty, in our inner man this morning, Lord. Strengthen our inner man, O Lord, by your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I pray, Father, Lord, let Christ dwell in my heart by faith, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let Christ dwell in my heart by faith, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, let Christ dwell in the heart of my children by faith, in the name of Jesus. Reveal yourself, oh, Lord, to my children, to my grandchildren, to my husband, to my wife. Oh, Lord, re re reveal yourself. Let Christ dwell in our heart by faith, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let us pray. My Father, let me be rooted and grounded in love in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, let me be rooted and grounded in love in the name of Jesus. For Christ said, by this shall men know that you are my disciple by loving one another. Lord, my Father, let me be rooted and grounded in love in the name of Jesus Christ. That genuine love, that Christ Christ-like love. Father, Lord, this morning I pray for my children, for my grandchildren, for my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, every member of my household, oh Lord, let us be grounded and rooted in love in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, every one of us on this prayer platform this day, Father, let us be rooted and grounded in love in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that my father let me be filled with all the fullness of god in the name of jesus christ oh lord my father let me be filled with all the fullness of god in the name of jesus christ i have come for strength this morning i want to be full lord god almighty all that you have for us this morning oh gracious father let us be filled with the fullness of god let our children oh lord in extension wherever they are this morning let them be filled with the fullness of God in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen amen I want us to pray that oh God help me comprehend the breadth the length the depth and the height of the love of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ oh God help me help my children help my ch grandchildren help us oh Lord to comprehend the breadth length the depth and the height of the love of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, every one of us on this prayer this morning, help us, O Lord, to comprehend the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height of the love of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O Lord, help our children, and Lord God Almighty, help each and every one of us to comprehend the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height and the, of the love of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray that, Lord, let the word of the Lord have frequency 
and be glorified in my life in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let the word of the Lord have free course and be glorified in my life, in my children's life, in the name of Jesus Christ, in this family. Father Lord, let the word of the Lord have free course and be glorified in the life of my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let the word of the Lord have free course in this household and be glorified in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray that the Lord of peace give me peace in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord of peace, you know that area where you are asking for peace. Either in your marriage or in your career or in the life of your children. This morning, Father Lord, we are asking for peace. You are the author of peace. You are the Lord of peace. Oh, Father God, give us peace. In all areas of our life. Lord of peace. Give me peace in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Concerning my son. Concerning my daughter. Concerning my business. Concerning my career. Concerning my ministry. Lord of peace. Give me peace, O Lord. In all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Because we are all ambassadors of Christ. We are supposed to make Christ known. Pray this morning, Lord. Let all trans be given to me to make known the mystery of the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, I pray this morning, let all trans be given unto me to make known the mystery of the gospel of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, let all trans be given to us, O oh Lord, to make known the mystery of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray that, Lord, perfect what is lacking in my faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, perfect that which is lacking in my faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, perfect that which is lacking in my faith. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray again that, Lord, perfect your work in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, that do you that good work that you are begin, O oh Lord. Perfect it, O oh Lord, in the life of my son, in the life of my daughter, in the life of my grandchildren. Father, Lord, perfect that we would work that you are begin, O oh Lord, in our life in the name of Jesus. Perfect me, Lord God Almighty, unto your good work in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I pray, O oh Lord. Enrich me in all all trans and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, enrich me in all all trans and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, enrich me in all all trans and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our God, enrich us, O oh Lord, in all all trans and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. Let all trans be given to us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Enrich us, O oh Lord, in all all trans and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray, Lord, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father Lord, let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with me in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we're going to pray that prayer for our nation this morning, for our leaders, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with them as they take their position of leadership this morning, as they come to various meetings, various seminars, various, you know, and thing they're going to do this morning, let us ask that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with them, that they will make the right decision in the name of Jesus, that the fear of God will come upon them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we do pray for our leaders, oh Lord, in this land, Father. We're asking you, Lord, for your grace upon them this morning, oh Lord, because no man can do a thing except it be given from him from above. Lord, we're asking for your grace upon our leaders, Oh Lord, beginning with our local leaders, our mayor, our city council.
hands to. Oh Lord, we pray, Lord Father, as they come together, Lord, today, oh Lord, to do their daily business, Father. We pray for your grace upon them. We pray, oh Lord, for wisdom upon them, oh Lord. We asking you, Father, Lord, that in all their decision, in all their choices, choices, Lord, they are going to make, Father, we pray, oh Lord, that they will have the fear of you in their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ, that your fear, oh Lord, will guide them in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us stand up as ambassador for Christ, eh, to stand up against every principality, against every power that will influence our leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. We, we know we are so, if we resist Satan, he will flee. That is what the Bible says. So we can stand up for our leaders this morning and resist the activity and the plan of Satan over this nation, over our city, over our neighborhood this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, standing as the children of God, redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I take my position with the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus, for we are seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places. This morning, we take our position and Satan will resist your activity in this land this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, begin with with my neighborhood, I resist your activity in the name of Jesus Christ. In this city where I live, Satan, I resist your activity in the name of Jesus. In this state, in the name of Jesus, I resist you in the name of Jesus. And in this land, I resist you. In the nation, I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. As children of God, this morning, we stand against your activity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. You know, taking our position this morning, we are going to the program. We're going to stand up. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I the program. Whatever the enemy has programmed into the sun, into the moon, concerning my life, concerning my children, concerning my grandchildren, concerning my business, concerning my career, in the name of Jesus Christ, I the program them. I the program them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because number 23, 23 says, There is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. For a According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what the Lord has done. Therefore, in my life, in my children's life, in my ministry, in my career, in my business, I the program whatever the enemy has programmed into the sun, into the moon, into the star, concerning everything concerning my life and my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I nullify every evil utterance that has been uttered into the atmosphere. This morning, I nullify them. I nullify them in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning this prayer line, every evil power that is gathered together, all that has come to monitor our prayer this morning in order to hinder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we render you powerless, impotent in the name of Jesus Christ. We hold the blood of Jesus Christ against you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, for the Lord will be glorified today in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to go to the word of God now and see what the Lord has for us this morning. New every morning is his word. So this morning I'm going to read from Proverbs chapter 22. And I will read from verse 1 through 7. Proverbs 22. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. The prudent see danger and take refuge. But the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Humility is the fear of the Lord. His wages are riches and honor and life. In the paths of the wicked are snares and pitfalls. But those who would preserve their life stay far from them. Verse 6. Start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, 
they will not turn from it. 7. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Mm. There are many principles here. Even each verse is loaded. But we're going to just go quickly and pray that the Lord will minister to us what he wants us to know from this verse. The first verse says, a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. Wealth comes in many forms. The wealth of respect and recognized excellence in character. A good name is valuable beyond great riches because why it is true that reputation and the affection of others are more desirable than great riches, we must not forget that they may be in themselves vanity and a snare. The only honor that is safe is that which comes from God. The other verse says, A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Wisdom does not always engage in a fight. It knows there are times when the best response to evil is to hide and let the danger go past. Somebody said this, which I, I like, you know, I think it's a prevision is the best means of prevention. I repeat that prevision is the best means of prevention. And I pray that that is why, you know, the Bible says we should see vision. Eh? You can't perceive even before the thing happens, and then you'll be able to prevent it. So may the Lord open our vision, you know, clearly that will be men and women who see vision. In the name of Jesus Christ. The other verse says, By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor. These two qualities are connected. Humility is a proper view of self. Fear of the Lord is a proper view of God. And the person who has these two qualities is well on their way on the path of wisdom. Blessings will come to the wise man or woman who has humility and the fear of the Lord. They can certainly expect spiritual riches and honor and life and, all that, and often those same things in material things as well. But the opposite is true. He said thorns and snares are the way of the perverse who guide his soul will be far from them. Tom says there, you know, like Proverbs 13, 15 says, told us that the way of the unfaithful is hard. Tom says there, symbolically describe the hard way of the perverse. And we can see the metaphor. The metaphor refers to temptation, you know, such as, is it says, easy money that tempts the youth, you know, the morally degenerate trend. You know, a dangerous role invested with them. Therefore, what do we do? If you want full of temptation, change the road you are on. Change the road you are on. And the other verse says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is so, he will not depart from it. We always quote this, you know, either to, to console ourselves, you know, a child needs training, definitely. And the job of parent is not to simply let him grow up in a particular way, but to train him and that in the way he should go. The way he should go has the, at least two senses that complement each other. The way he should go speak of the child's individual way and inclination. He speak of discerning a child's strength and weaknesses and parenting in a way that takes 
those into account. So it's not the way that I want that child to go. You must recognize what is the strength of this child. What is the weakness of this child? And then you have to mold, you know, that child. That is how you train. It's not that I, I, this is what I want you to become. No. And as a result, we end up destroying that child. And the idea of when he sold, he will not depart from it. It's a wonderful principle, you know, that the Holy Spirit may quicken to, you know, to a promise for a parent trouble over their adult children. When a child is trained in the proper way, though they may depart for a season and a long time, a long season, in principle, they will return and not depart from it. You know, we want us to know that that verse, you know, uh, Solomon's life, who wrote this proverb, displayed that this is a principle and not an absolute promise. So, do you know, that is why I could see some parents because they know he will come back. Instead of them to pray and cry out to God, they just say, oh, he will come back. Hmm, you better work on it. You know, because it's a, it's, it's a principle. It's not an absolute promise. The life of, of the writer himself displays it, you know. We, we saw it, you know, that uh, the apostasy, you know, the valiance, what, uh, what the wisdom that uh, Solomon did. So we must work hard on it. And the last verse I want us to consider, which is where we're going to build our prayer on, is that the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is a servant to the lender. Earlier on in verse 2, he said, you know, he told us that there are there was one important aspect in which the poor and the you know, common way, which the rich and the poor were the same. But here at the last verse, he said, this proverb reminds us of a way they are different. Rich people have more authority and voice in the community than the poor do. So the point we are trying to make this morning is that one must regard indebtedness only as a last resort. Be wary of those who offer to lend money. You go around, drive around, and you start notice, pay the loan. Yeah? Before you get the pay, it's already loan out. You already spend it. And some of us, because we know everything we have in the house is on loan. The chair you sit on, the pot you cook with. Eh? It's all loan. The bed you sleep on. It's everything on credit. That's not a lie. You are a slave. You are not in the in the um, in the cutting uh, yard in the plantation. But you are a slave because you allow yourself to be put there. The car is all loan. The house is all loan. Everything. Sit down this morning and you said. Am I really a slave? If everything you live by is borrowing, the Bible says you are a slave. And I want us to know, it's not saying that we should not borrow, okay? So please, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that we should never borrow. No, but it wants us never to take on a loan. We have to carefully examine our ability to repay if you are repaying before you paid it, eh, there's no money left for grocery. Now you have to go and go to the pay loan, uh, the pay loan to you know to, or to mortgage your title, your car title, so that you can buy food. No. A loan we can handle is enabling. A loan we can handle is enslaving. The borrower must realize that until the loan is paid, he or she is a servant to the individual or institution that made it. So we must be careful. And, you know, it, it, it affects our health, you know. That is why you have to be going about doing three or two jobs together. 
you know and as a result even the bed you pay credit for you are not able to sleep on it the chair you you hire you know you loan you are not able to sit and enjoy it is that life that is slavery and christ has come to set the captive free to redeem us that is the purpose we need to sit down as children of god and may the lord help us in the name of jesus I know we touched on various things this morning. You know, the, you know, the first verse there, a good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is more. Rich and, and poor have this in common. The Lord is their maker. And that is even point out. You should not look down on your fellow human beings. They may be poor. You may have it. Do not disrespect them. Because of, you know, their circumstances. Remember their maker. Mm -hmm. And also remember, we all come to this world the same way. Naked. Mm -hmm. Empty. Handed. What do you bring when you are coming? Nothing. When you are going, what are you going to take? Nothing. So, there's this common thing. The only difference is that, that you may get rich. Mm -hmm. And as a result... I should not look up to you, you know, match up to you and put myself into slavery. So may the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus. If there's anywhere we have put ourselves into slavery, this morning we're going to pray that the Lord will set us free in the name of Jesus Christ. There are promises in the word of God hmm, that will give us freedom, confidence of heart. You know, if we only believe, if only we believe the Lord eh, of and his word. Only believe and we see that God is true to his word. Hallelujah. The first word I want us to look at is Philippians 4, 1, 19. It says, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus all your need, your need, God will supply. And Psalm 23 verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The next scripture is Deuteronomy 8.18. 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that give thee the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto thy fathers as it is this day. The next scripture I want us to look at is 3 John verses 1, I mean, chapter 1, verse 2. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in earth even as thy soul prosper. So that is telling us, all these scriptures telling us that God cares about us. Um, he cares and is ready to meet our need. And you know, the Psalm 84, 11 says, For the Lord God is his son and she. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. And the last scripture is, Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. The Lord is calling us, you know, this morning, in all things, especially in our area of our finance. I mean, the Lord help us that every, every trap <clears throat> that we are falling into, that the Lord will deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. So let us pray for the time we have that in the name of Jesus, I command all demonic hindrances to my prosperity to be totally paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I do not want, I do not want to be slave anymore in the name of Jesus. For Christ has come to set me free 
in the name of Jesus, I command all demonic hindrances to my prosperity to be totally paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Some of us, we are walking literally, but we don't know where the money is going. This morning, in the name of Jesus, let us pray. I command all demonic hindrances to my prosperity to be totally paralyzed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be paralyzed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that let every demonic bank keeping my finances be destroyed and release my finances in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every demonic bank Keeping my finances be destroyed and release my finances. Let my finances be released. Let my children's finances be released in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be released in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Abide every strong man holding my finances captive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Abide every strong man holding my my finances captive in the name of Jesus Christ. The way you will know that your finances is being attacked is the, the moment a lump sum of money either is coming or is arrived in your hand, something will happen. Hmm? Major thing will break in that house and that you have to spend that money on. The money you think is going to be extra, it will be a cushion. Now it's gone. You need to pray. It's a spirit of poverty. It's a spirit of enslavement. You need to pray to be released from this spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every strong man holding my finances captive. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I bind every strong man holding my finances captive. In the name of Jesus, because I do not want to be a slave anymore. Christ has come to set me free, and God is my sufficiency. God can supply all my need. Therefore, I bind every strong man holding my finances captive. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, Amen. I possess all my possessions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I possess all my possessions in the name of Jesus. I possess all my possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I possess all my possessions in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I break and I lose myself from every cause of financial bondage and poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break and I lose myself from every cause of financial bondage and poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. I break and I lose myself from every cause of financial bondage and poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us who have businesses, we need to go and pray over that business that every cause of financial bondage or poverty in the name of Jesus, get out of this place in the name of Jesus. When you get to your place of work, or your place of, of business this morning, you are the one who owns that business. Pray that every spirit of financial difficulty operating in this place, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hand on those issues or those goods that need to be sold. That every cause of financial bondage operating in this business, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind you and I cast you out, out of this place, in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you'll be having these goods. They are supposed to go. They, they are not going. You know, they just, you just say, oh, it's a slow moving. No, this morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I break and I lose myself from every cause of financial bondage and poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, amen. I release myself from every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release myself. From every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I release myself, I release my children from every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. You know, you can have the money, money is coming on, you know, it's just flowing, it's just going, but the same thing. 
today, this child will get sick. Yeah, this operation, this, uh, you, know, you go from one operation for the, after the one operation, one medical issue to another medical issue. That is poverty, my dear brothers and sisters. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release myself, I release my children from every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. Because you know what? Christ became poor so that I may be rich. Therefore, you spirit of poverty, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. And when we talk of poverty, we talk of poverty of faith, you know, poverty of material poverty and spiritual poverty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release myself and my children from every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty, whether it's material, physical, my spiritual, in the name of Jesus, or emotional, I release myself, I release my children from every conscious or unconscious covenant with the spirit of poverty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us speak to that spirit, you spirit of poverty. Hear the word of the Lord. Christ became poor so that I may be rich. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of poverty, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of poverty operating in my life, in my children's life, in this household, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now let us ask. For the spirit of favor to be upon us everywhere we go. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. Let the spirit of favor be upon me everywhere I go concerning my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, let the spirit of favor be upon me everywhere I go concerning my finances. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, let the spirit of favor be upon my children everywhere they go concerning their finances. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. And let us pray that, Lord, restore all my wasted years and efforts and convert them to blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, restore all my wasted years and efforts and convert them to blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, restore all my wasted years and efforts and convert them to blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, restore all my wasted years and efforts efforts Lord and convert them to blessings in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen if you want to be free we do not want to be enslaved we need to have the spirit of contentment godliness and contentment is a great gain we need to have the spirit of contentment so you know just pray <clears throat> and not taking action we not go a long way. We need to take action. We need to be content with what we have. Some of us, we're not even able to enjoy the little that we have. But you want to acquire more, acquire more. And as a result, high blood pressure. Eh? And one thing or the other is coming in. Contentment. Let us pray. Spirit of contentment, possess me. Spirit of contentment, possess me. In the name of Jesus Christ, because God is sufficient to meet all my need. Spirit of contentment, possess me in the name of Jesus Christ, that I will rest assured in God's provision, in the assurance that God is able to meet all my need. Spirit of contentment, possess me in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Spirit of greed, in the name of Jesus, I reject you. In the name of Jesus, a spirit of greed, spirit of greed, I am not. Your, I'm not your candidate anymore. In the name of Jesus, live. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will be content with the provision the Lord has blessed me. I will enjoy it. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of greed, leave me. In the name of Jesus, leave my children. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Let us pray that I release my finances 
from the clutches of financial hunger. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my finances from the clutches of financial hunger. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my finances from the clutches of financial hunger. I release my children's finances from the clutches of financial hunger. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. I remove my name and those of my customers. For those of us who have business, you know, some of, uh, some customers will buy the goods on credit and they are not able to pay. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ, on some of the customers, they are filing for bankruptcy. In the name of Jesus, let us pray this morning. <clears throat> I remove my name and those of my customers from the book of financial bankruptcy. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will pay what they owe me. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will provide for them. And the Lord will put it in their heart to pay. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because that is where the Spirit work. Sometimes they may not work directly on you. But they will be working directly on those who surround you. Who those who are dealing with business with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I remove my name. And those of my customers from the book of financial bankruptcy. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone that has did business dealing with me, I release their name, I remove their name from the book of financial bankruptcy. I remove my name, I remove my children's name from the book of financial bankruptcy. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Now let us invite the Holy Spirit to be our senior partner in our finances. In the name of Jesus, I know some of us will be hesitant to pray this prayer. Because when the Holy Spirit is your, is, is, is the senior partner in your, in your finances, you, you won't spend it anyhow. But you need to, if you do not want to be a slave anymore. Hmm. Holy Spirit, be my senior partner in my finances. Will you surrender your finances to the Lord this morning? Surrender your finances to the Lord and then see how he's going to handle it. How he's going to help you. Holy Spirit, be my senior partner in my finances this morning. Lord, I surrender the area that I think I'm the one to manage it. Yeah. This morning, Lord, Holy Spirit, be my senior partner in my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, as husband and wife, <clears throat> will you surrender your finances to the Holy Spirit this morning? I surrender. Holy Spirit, be my senior partner. In my finances. Holy Spirit, be my children's senior partner in their finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, be their senior partner in their finances. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray that every good thing presently eluding my finances should flow into it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing. Presently eluding my finances should flow into it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing presently eluding my finances should flow into it in the name of Jesus Christ. You know when that good thing flow into it, eh? You may have ten dollar, and that ten dollar can go a long way for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is true. Lord, this morning, every good thing presently eluding our finances, let you flow into it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray and reject every spirit of financial embarrassment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I reject every spirit of financial embarrassment. In the name of Jesus Christ, I reject it. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of financial embarrassment, I reject it. In the name of Jesus Christ, when it's time for you to play, pay your employee, you will have money to pay. In the name of Jesus Christ, I reject every spirit of financial embarrassment. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. My Father, 
block every space causing unprofitable leakage to my finances block block it in the name of jesus christ every space causing unprofitable leakage to my finances oh lord block it in the mighty name of jesus father lord block every space causing unprofitable leakage to my finances in the name of jesus christ lord block it in the name of jesus in jesus name amen let us pray that lord let my finances become too hot to handle for dupes and demonic customers in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father Lord, let my finances become too hot to handle for dupes and demonic customers in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, let my finances become too hot to handle for dupes and demonic customers in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. In the name of Jesus, I release my finances from the influence from the control and domination of our soul wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, I release my finances. In the name of Jesus, from the influences, from the control and domination of our soul wickedness. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray that, Father Lord, let us satanic agents deflecting blessing away from me. In the name of Jesus, be arrested. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, let all satanic angels deflecting blessings away from me, from my household. Let them be arrested. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be arrested. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I want us to pray that, Lord, let the evil effect of any strange money I have received or touched be neutralized. In the name of Jesus Christ, you think they're not doing it? Yes, they're doing it too. In the name of Jesus, that is why if you are the one dealing with money, you should pray, you know, before you, you know, when you touch money, as when they bring it to you, pray over it. Anything, you know, the Bible says you should give thanks in everything. So even when you receive money, after they've traded with you, pray over that. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let the evil effect of any strange money I have received or touched be neutralized. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be neutralized. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, let the evil effect of any strange money I have received or touched be neutralized. Be neutralized in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Let pray that, O oh Lord, teach me the divine secrets of prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is secret to everything. Eh? And the secret belongs to the Lord. And those things that are revealed belong unto us and to our children so that we may know how to do the works of the Lord. That is the word of God. Lord, teach me the divine secret of prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, teach me the divine secret of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Because it is the Lord who blesses the righteous and surrounded with favor as it is shed. Oh, Father, Lord, let teach us the divine secret of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name amen let us thank the Lord thank you father Lord for this uh, morning thank you Lord for answering our prayer thank you father Lord because in the morning you hear our voice oh Lord in the morning we lay it all out before you this morning this morning Lord there are many things oh Lord we do not want to be a slave oh Lord to the to the to the lend to be a, to the lender Lord, you want to be a lender. We want to be a lender. We do not want to be a borrower. In the name of Jesus. So, Father Lord, this day as we go, give us wisdom, O oh Lord. Direct our path in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.